Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my fall Thanksgiving makeup. Starting off, I'm using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless to mattify and smooth out my skin. I mainly use it on the areas where I get the most pores. Now I gotta cover up that bloody red big ass breakouts that I got on my cheeks and I'm using this Camel, oh no, Mallow Viltz Camouflage Cream. It's an amazing, amazing concealer. To brighten up that highlight area, I'm using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Now I blend out all the concealer by doing a lot of dabbing. But you don't have to blend up perfectly because I'm going to apply foundation right next. Using my Real Techniques sponge uh, blender, I am applying foundation all over my face and I'm using my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation in conjunction with Leo Ali's Beyond Solution BB Cream. Now I powder up my face using Neutrogena's Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. I love this packaging, it's so spa-ish. Now for brows, I'm using Rimmel London Eyebrow Pencil in number 2 Hazel. Pretty much the brow routine for me is combing it, outlining it, and filling it. Now it's the eye makeup. Here I'm using Misha's Goodbye Crease Eye Makeup Primer in number 2 Beige. Using my finger, I'm just spreading it out all over my eyelid. For eyeshadows to stick even better, I'm using two cream-based products, both from MAC. Uh, one is Paint Pot in Bare Study, and the other is a Shade Stick in Street Cool. Make sure that the darker cream base is blended out nicely. For the first two-thirds of the eyelid area, I'm using Catrice Absolute Eye Color in Plum of the Jam. Using a flat eyeshader brush, I just really press it in so that it has a good color payoff. For the remaining one-third of the area, I'm using MAC's Golden Gaze Mineral Eyeshadows to give it a little more goldish, festive-ish kind of fun color. For blending slash transitioning color, I'm using MAC Single Eyeshadow in Moleskin. Make sure to soften out the edges. For that purpose, round brushes make the job so much easier. Let's make it a little darker. Here I'm using Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette in this uh, shade Busted. Basically just darken up the outer V area. Using the same color with a flat, small brush, bring the color in about past halfway. Open up the eye a little by applying this eyeshadow in the verb from the same palette. I came back to the first eyeshadow I used and apply a little more to bring out that beautiful, gorgeous purple. Since it's a holiday, I wanted to give it a little more shimmer or glitter. So I did it with the Face Shop Single Eyeshadow in number 5, Sand Brown. Now sculpt your eye by using an eyeliner. Here I'm using L'Oreal Super Liner in Carbon Gloss. This is optional but I pop on a pair of lashes from Red Cherry. They're in number 43, which is my current favorite. Do your mascara, lower babies too, of course. Since I've got some fallouts, I'm going to wipe them all out with a cleansing tissue and reapply concealer. Using Revlon's Photo Ready Bronzer, I'm going to bronze my face. I'm not going to make it too intense, but of course, to give you some shades, I'm applying my bronzer on the backs of my cheekbones, temples, 
course, the jawline because I've got multiple chin. Oh. Softly, nicely, gently apply blush. I'm using one from Ben Nights in number 22. Now, give it some glow on your highlight area by using Max Cream Color Base in Diamonds. Since it's fall and it's Thanksgiving, I wanted to create a burgundy lip. So I used this uh, Precision Lip Liner from Catrice in number 60, Very Berry. And I used it almost as a lipstick. To give it a definition and to intensify that red tint, I used this lipstick from Misha and it's called Signature Glam Art Rouge. And that's a wrap! No, not yet. I still gotta do my hair. So I'll do my hair and come back in 3, 2, 1. So that's my fall slash Thanksgiving makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Yeah, it's fun clicking that button. You guys have fun, happy, cozy Thanksgiving. Do a lot of shopping, eating, and I'll come back real soon. Bye!